At last you see me I dance because Chef Garfield Sivright Jr., the founder and CEO of Create, a handcrafted sweet scotch bonnet sauce, is now on our shows. He's going to show us the versatility of this sauce mm. to serve up some delicious dishes over the holidays. Chef, how are you doing? I'm doing absolutely great. I'm grateful to be invited to um, this amazing oh, program. Oh, yes. yes. This is our first, our very first TV appearance. So really? I'm very excited. Congratulations <laughs> to you. It's my first saucy appearance as well. Because you know me, I'm going to eat the food. Talk to me about Create, Chef. What inspired this? Um, so basically, um, all of this came from doing events. So I catered to Maribana and um, M7 events, some mm -hmm. series of events. And I used this sauce for like two years straight. And then somebody's like, I literally come to your booth for this sauce. Okay. So, and then my manager, Harvey Lynn, he asked me, why don't you like bottle okay. this? I'm like, nah, I'm too busy at work because I have a nine to five. And he's like, you should definitely think about it. And then I considered it and this is what happened. And now it's in the bottle. Yes. Don't give me a secret, because I know there must be a secret to it. <laughs> Absolutely. But what, what is the sauce? All right, so Create Sweet Scotch Bonnet Sauce is, all right, so personally, I made this sauce for me, because I can't manage the spice. Okay. So I made this, so the, the Scotch Bonnet is a, the most flavorful pepper. Yes, it is. So the sugar balances the, um, all that oh. Scotch Bonnet flavor, so it's not overwhelming. And then I did a mild version and a spicy version. So oh. this, is, this is spicy right now, but the mild version is for me and other persons who have the same... So all that's here now is spicy? It's spicy, yes. Chef, which one you put on the food? Amelia? Oh, so it's, it's a bit mild and spicy. Oh, all right. Yes. Okay, me just want to clarify. But the water, I don't I love it because um, it's what, Scotch bonnet, I think, pairs well with everything. Pretty much everything, yes. Yeah. And Jamaicans, we appreciate the spice level and mm -hmm. stuff from Scotch bonnet. So when you come with the spice like this now, mm -hmm. the sauce, I, I create and then I put the sauce on, or I'm marinating the sauce. Are there different ways that I can yes. use the sauce? Yes, so... Um, Basically, it, it can be used as a marinade because it's, it's already done. Okay. So it's, it's been used during and after cooking and also as a dipping sauce. Perfect as a dipping sauce. It's perfect as a dipping yes. sauce. It says, Scotch bonnet peppers are the finest of ingredients to create the perfect blend of bowl flavors Absolutely. and heat. Yes. It has some, I mean, I'm going to read it all coming on people. Go, I'm going to make your things <laughs> then, chef. But it has some nice, it's, it's, it has some nice jamaica. How do you strike the balance? In, in getting a really good sauce that, as you say, it's dipping sauce. Yes. Because sometimes I, I, I get sauce and I say, no, I have to add a little something to the sauce yeah. here. So um, with this, um, I use the, so for the mild, it's just the skin of the scotch bonnet, oh. which is full of bursting with flavor. And then for the spicy, we you use the, the whole in. pepper. Oh. Yes. And then we do have a partner farm at Clarkstone mm -hmm. that we have two acres of scotch bonnet pepper, so it goes into this. Straight from the field yeah, straight from into the bottle. Absolutely. I like it. Yes. Well, Nebs, I'm moving over to my favorite part. You brought some stuff for us this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Yes. To show the versatility of the sauce. Yes. So jerk chicken spring roll. Mm -hmm. Which Talk is to me, sir. right here. So it's pretty so I'm basically showing you how to or you could easily um, use a sauce because it's basically an all-purpose sauce. Mm -hmm. So we can use it as a dipping sauce, um, also as a spreading sauce. This we can use it to like spread on top of our chicken breast, or you could caramelize it in the pot while you're making it. So okay. that's during cooking. Mm -hmm. And the ribs, you could brush it. So while 30 minutes before you take all the ribs out of the oven, you, you brush, could brush it. it, it'll be absolutely amazing. All right, chef. Yes. So you said. 